guys and welcome to Love Darts. If you haven't already, please like, share and subscribe this video. Today we're going to review a very, very special set of darts. Uh, they are the Solo Generation 3. These are by Target Japan. Very, very hard to get hold of. You have to import them at the moment because they don't actually provide them in the UK. Very frustratingly. They're $159.99. Um, these were actually purchased, I think, in, in America, so that's dollars, $159.99. You can get them in America and in Japan, they just haven't come across to here. Um, a fantastic dart, these are actually my match darts. I hope you enjoy the review. OPS, new shirt in white. It's actually a little bit big for me. Shh. So I hope you enjoy the video. They are actually my match darts, they're a fantastic dart. If they're a little bit heavier, they'll be absolutely perfect for me, but they're 20 grams, I'd say about 22, 23. Perfect. Don't know what that was. Why not? Oh, I love a bit of packaging. Why? Okay, guys, so I'm super excited to give you this review of the Kieta Ono darts. Now, Kieta's nickname is Solo, and these are his third generation darts made by Target Japan. They are also not available in the UK. So let's have a look inside the box. So I think this is well presented, it's a nice box, you can see everything inside. Uh, at the top here you've got his name and his signature. Uh, we have then the darts, the Swiss point uh, turning tool, the flights and the stems. These darts also use the Swiss point system. Uh, let's have a look at the back of the box. So on the back here you can see the player. Um, I'll bring it a little bit closer. It's $159.99 from America, um, quite pricey. Uh, obviously shows all the contents in there as well. Signature on the back, nice touch, really simple. Contents, you know, what's inside. Let's get a close up of the contents now. Um, so it's in a simple box. It's not a foam insert, it's sort of a, a plastic with a, a very touched. And as I zoom in here, you can see the barrels up nice and close and this uh, sort of ferry insert that it's uh, kept in. I think it's really nicely presented. You'll see my review from the uh, the Loxley darts, um, giving them a little bit of stick of the, the box and the presentation, but I think that the Japanese um, target darts do a really nice version of, of, of what their UK market does as well in their darts. Um, it's simple, effective, shows everything, and it jumps off the shelf when you see the product. Um, I really like it. Let's get these darts out and have a quick look. Just quickly before we do that, if you have a look on the inside, you've actually got your guarantee, another signature here, nice touch. And for those of you who haven't had a look at one of the guarantee uh, booklets that they have, you have your weight guarantee here, so it's guaranteed within a tolerance of 0.05 grams, guarantee barrel for life, and they do a lot of promotional stuff on the inside, so in this one for example, you have the Swiss darts with the interchangeable point system, and one of their wallets, the Tacoma Darts wallets in different colors. I think they're the XL ones. And the Agora Verdi, very, very nice dart. If you don't want to spend a lot of money, but you want a great quality dart, really recommend these. Um, and they've also got the Corona light system, which I also use myself. Fantastic, you don't get any um, shadows. Really, really recommend it. And that is, if I can fold it all together, look at the skills, fold this bad boy and show your dirty watch strap. Nice. Oh, a close-up! Now this type of dart will suit a Lewis barrel type um, with more grip. You can see actually on the front section here that it's very much like the Ian White Red Dragon darts that I reviewed. You've got then this grenade grip which is brilliant, a pixel centre, and at the back this new gear grip that they're talking about. Um, I love the colour change, that copper. It, it just it sort of breaks up the dart and uh, I think it just finished really, really well. Swiss point system, so you've got the bit to take out the darts here. You just simply pop that on. Give it a turn and your points can be changed. It's quick and simple as that. Now these are actually really, really nice as well. The stems are black and clear, but as they go through, I'll see if I can catch the light, it sort of goes a bit purpley. And you've got the target icon there as well. Um, yeah, I think that that's a, that's a really nice finish. It sort of complements, goes from uh, from the barrel into the 
flights really really nicely now not a complicated um, design for the flight um, you've got the solo logo and uh, embroidery sort of there the yellow um, I think that with that sort of purple stem comes off with the yellow purple colouring that I gave it as well I won't lie to you these make me feel like I'm throwing a javelin in the Olympics what a dart wait check <laughs> For the eagle-eyed amongst you, you'll realise I've changed the flights and stems. Um, they are still the same length um, and the same type of flights, but um, these are my own ones, so just want to see how they fly. Um, straight away you can see they've got a really nice entry for me, slightly high tail. Um, I'm going to throw after this one. This was from front, so I'm going to throw the next lot with uh, throwing from the middle and see how I get on from there. Yeah, those are really nicely balanced. Um, I was holding on the pixel bit. That front grip is extremely grippy, so if you like a really good, confident grip, I'd go with that. Uh, the middle pixel section isn't quite as much because there's only a few indents. Throwing here from the rear, which is the grenade section grip, which is actually really nice. Um, I quite like to uh, see if they can put that on the front of the dart. Let's have a, one more go with the back. You can see I'm levelling off ever so slightly as I throw further back, but yeah, really, really nice. Different flights. Now, I don't like the stim flights, um, but you can see here they enter very, very evenly into the board. Nice for Matt Edgar style. If you like that style, yep, go with it. Standard flights, you have a nice high tail. Um, these enter the board really nicely, consistently, fly through the air. A little bit more drag than a small standard. Kite zips through the air really, really quick. It's got a medium tail, I would say, but still feels very consistent. And finally, have a look at the pair. These go really quickly through the air, and they're probably the lowest tail um, aside from a slim. Slow mo. So, as we watch these darts go through the air beautifully in slow motion, um, I'd just like to say that this dart, because of the short barrel, it doesn't matter really where you throw it from, it just has so much consistency and it just lets me get away with so much more. Really, really good, consistent barrel. Final thoughts! So in summary guys, these darts are fantastically grippy, very consistent, doesn't matter where you throw them from, you still get a similar entry into the board. Uh, I throw with a number 6 flight, which is the small standard, and they are absolutely beautiful for me. My only gripe is that they are only 20 grams, if they were 23 they would be absolutely perfect. I like to rest my finger just between the front section which has the grip and the grippy point, that's perfect for me, and then just between the grenade grip and that middle pixelated grip. You see here I've used a purple and yellow style which sort of has almost like a uh, Star Wars sort of effect and this is what I feel like, I feel like I'm holding a lightsaber or something while I'm using these. They are really really exciting darts to use, they feel uh, really really premium nice and consistent nice and solid feel to it great great grip and reliability um, and i just feel like i'm about to go into a fight with yoda look at them they are just perfect If you enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. The button's just below. By subscribing, you're not entering into any costs. It just simply means that you'll be able to see all my stuff come up in your subscriptions. And it actually helps me out massively because the more subscriptions I have, the more chance I have of monetizing the channel. If I can monetize the channel, it means that I can actually buy more and more products to review for you guys. Thanks very much. 
Hope you enjoyed watching, and remember, love darts. Cue the gag reel. It's kind of see -through. Should have ironed anything first. Just that one. Maybe like that. If you haven't already, guys, please like, share, and subscribe the video, and I can provide more content for you. I seem to say the same thing all the time. I the same thing all the time. <clears throat> Hi guys, welcome to Love Darts. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe this video. What am I doing my hands? Focus. <clears throat> I need Love Darts to show. A Marvel Style Extra!